the touching story of displaced children in the northeastern part of the country, many of them orphaned because of the insurgency, remains a crisis that needs careful attention. Following the return of normalcy to areas liberated from Boko Haram by the Nigerian military, a humanitarian issue has arisen in states such as Adamawa with about 868 children living in the Malkohi camp. Fourteen-year-old Bakura Modu is one of such orphaned children. His father was killed by Boko Haram and his mother died in the IDP camp leaving him to fend for his younger siblings. His teary eyes speak more than his words. <laughs> Mr. Nicholas Samuel has been in the camp for about four years. He applauds the efforts of the National Emergency Management Agency in caring for the unaccompanied children. <laughs> When these unaccompanied children arrived in this camp, their condition was pitiable. They were separated by Nema since they'll need special attention. Nema takes very good care of them beyond what you can imagine. The Bornu state government authorities puts the number of unaccompanied children living in camps for internally displaced persons at at least 52,000. The United Nations Children's Emergency Management Fund, UNICEF, continues to help the government in dealing with the humanitarian crisis. The solution that we recommend always is to put them back into families, and we do not encourage or support institutionalizing children. Because, you know, research has shown that the best, in the best interest of children is with the, when they are with families. So if their immediate families are not there, we try and identify, support the government, identify um, families that can uh, accommodate those children in their houses and where the government uh, supports them. Um, but it's the Ministry of Social Welfare that is responsible for it and we provide support for that. The situation in Yobe State is less grim for some children orphaned by the insurgency. They are being taken care of by relatives and some concerned individuals with the support of the government. Because of the nature of the movement of the IDP, the displacement nature of the Yobe State, is a community that moves in unison, such that it has maintained its social cohesion with itself. If a father dies, automatically the next members of the family take charge. So you cannot find a nucleus of orphans, grouped, abandoned, or needing the support of government. However, by extension, the government has certain structures that support orphans. An orphanage established by the wife of a former governor in the state has a growing number of orphans admitted because of the corresponding increase in the number of orphaned children. Some of the orphans make a spirited appeal. In this insurgency, there are, there, is so, uh, there is so many orphans that are not schooling. So if the government assists this school in terms of financially, I know this, the, the, one, the, the younger ones that are not admitted into the school, they will be, inshallah, they will be admitted. Children in negative circumstances, through no fault of theirs, should be protected by the federal and state government in the absence of parents or guardians. For these orphan children, who are a national asset, that responsibility lies with the government to continue to pursue a path that protects these vulnerable citizens.